so let me continue. Oh, oh by the way, uh, all that code will be made available online. You'll be able to get it. Uh, Richard will be here for a while, so you know, line up for his autograph. His, uh, you know, n number of uh, autographs per line of code needs to be maximized. So, so uh, let's keep going here. Um, you know, the world has changed enormously, and I, I know a lot of you, as I said earlier, got here through the desktop world, and we continue to support the desktop world. We equivalence our work providing the same kind of quality and enhancement and performance work and features on both the desktop world and the mobile world. But just from a sense of scale and value and opportunity for you all, I just thought I'd, you know, get to the fourth point and, and give you some calibration points. So. Uh, this is a, a Nokia-centric slide, as is my want here, because uh, I'm, on, I'm on the big team, and uh, it's great. So we talk about a bunch of numbers. First, let me give you one number. 175 million devices, a, an enormous number, are the number of devices that um, we have out there that are uh, capable of running Q QML, you know, all, all glass, all touch, and uh, capable of running the platform. But, you know, that's a bit of a marketing number, and I want to really zoom in onto what is really your, your world, the, the more important thing that you can touch. So we currently have 45 million devices that are, quote, active devices that are running the Qt QML platform. And, and uh, our, loosely, our def definition of active devices are uh, devices that, in which the customer, the owner of that device, has contacted our services, our OV services platform, I think it's at least once per month. And uh, you know, my calibration is, isn't perfect. But the, but the key is 45 million devices, more, 45 million customers that phone home, uh, and I mean that from a data, for a data plan perspective, not literally speaking, um, often allowing you to reach them with new applications that you create in Q QML and upload to the OB, OB store. In addition, we've discussed the number of about 50 million Symbian 3 devices that we'll be selling going forward, and so incremental to the 45 million is 50 million more devices, more people, more opportunities for you to, great, to build great applications like the one we just saw, efficiently, beautifully, quickly to, to reach all these people. So, uh, you know, OV is the place that you work with to uh, reach all of these people. But we're looking at 95, about 100 million, 100 million devices and customers that you can reach be, by being a, a cute and QML uh, expert. In addition, we're, we're kind of, and this may get lost in translation a little bit, but we're putting our money where our, our mouths are, or our collective mouth is, Recently, we uh, at Nokia World, a couple of weeks back, we gave a $1 million prize to a Kenyan developer who uh, wrote an application for the N8 in, uh, in, the, in the Qt platform. It's a very big check for an individual who was uh, writing code in a, in a code bake-off that we held during the uh, Nokia World uh, activity. But in addition, going forward, Nokia and AT&T have a collectively uh, reached an agreement where we're going to allocate $10 million for developers who write applications for the AT&T Nokia platform going forward. And although AT&T is a US company, uh, folks in Germany and other, other countries are eligible for these prizes. So, you know, I, I'm a little torn. As, as the CTO and, and uh, sort of an ex-developer and uh, still a geek uh, big time, you know, my motivation for, for building apps was always just the thrill of the engineering process and the creation process. So, you know, I don't, I don't want to say, that, look, this is, this is the value of Q, that you could tap into this. But it's not bad, it's $10 million. Here. So, so go for it. Um, so this, this is going to be made available to you. We'll be announcing the details of all this, and I suggest you try to tap into this. So to, to wrap it up, um, both Sebastian and I talked a lot about the detail of what we're doing inside Nokia with the Qt team, and Richard talked about the power of, uh, uh, of uh, QML that give you the ability to build great apps, whether it's on the desktop or mobile devices, quickly, the scale of the marketplace, of the number of individuals you reach, uh, the, you know, the, the total opportunity for you. And I, it really shows that um, we're, at, we're asking you to invest a lot of time and money in this effort in Qt, but so are we. So with that, let's move on and uh, get to some new, new speakers. Thanks very much.